Well, behind me is a picture of five seniors on the Bishop Guilfoyle girls basketball team. We wanted to honor them in our senior spotlight this week. Blaze Kilmartin is one of those seniors. She sat down with me to recap their season that was put on pause due to the coronavirus. Blaze Kilmartin's senior year with the Bishop Guilfoyle girls basketball team is one for the storybooks. For me this year is very important and very special to me because I've never played with a team like this. We start with the LHAC championship game. This game, it was anyone's game. It was just about who wanted it more. Yeah! We played like we wanted it more. We played with the heart and as a team um, to get that goal, to get that achievement. After winning the LHAC conference, the girls faced their toughest challenge yet, the Bellwood Antis Blue Devils. I honestly don't think many people were expecting our team to come in and win the way we did. Um, and we were able to go in and I only know that the moment I was like we won was whenever there was only one minute left and we were up by like 13. It was like we did it. Fast forward to the District 6 2A title game. The entire game was just insane. Like at one point we were up and then one point we were down and it was just, I mean during the third quarter we only scored one point. The game went to overtime. Whenever it came down to it during the fourth and overtime, we just came together in the moments where we knew we needed to. The Marauders blazed their way to a district title. But midway through the state playoffs, we were on such an amazing roll, and then all of a sudden it just came to a halt. The PIAA announcing it'll be postponing the basketball and swimming and diving championships for two weeks. All PA schools will be closed for an additional two weeks. The PIAA announced it too will postpone all spring sports and winter sports. I found out officially in school and I just, I almost wanted to cry. Everything just kind of like stopped, it was in slow motion and I was just like, is this real? Because I mean, the season already had been so surreal, it had been amazing and so unexpected and then all of a sudden this happened and I was like, is this a dream, is this real? I just could not focus the rest of the day, it was only two periods but I mean, I just literally everything was kind of a daze after that. But like most storybooks, there's always a happy ending. And for Blaze, and I still believe that we'll have that opportunity, whichever way the season goes, whether it does end or whether we get to continue and we get a chance at States, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm so thankful for where I've been able to play. It's going to be heartbreaking whenever it's over, and I don't want it to end this way. 